Hello and welcome to this lecture. So now we will see how we can write the data into the DB and we will also understand some smart services which is write to data store entity. So what I will do, I will go back to my designer and inside the build and I will create a new process model. So this was just for testing purpose which we have created previously. Now I will create one more new process model and I will use the naming convention accordingly. So what I need to do, I need to write the expense detail so I can mention that ET write expense. And I will create it by default security and that's all I got my empty process model and then I can find out here so this is my search option I can search whatever smart service is needed so what my requirement is my requirement is I wanted to write this form into the DB right so first of all I need to point out that data store entity Right, so I need to use some constant which will point to the data store entity. So we have not seen the constant. So let's create one constants first. I need to click on new and then constant. So constant in Appian is of different different types. So for example, I wanted to use some text item in this whole environment anywhere. I can put a text and I can create a constant for that text and I can use it. So these are the types available for a constant. It can be of data store entity constant date 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 and time document document or folder so to point out a folder also we need a constant to point to the process model we need a constant process report we need a constant or a report or any other thing whatever is mentioned here right the variables or uh, maybe some text item or any other item integer and boolean and all right so what my requirement is i have wanted to create one constant for my data store entity so i can write the data into the db so what I need is a uh, ET DSE and then because it's space is not allowed. So I need to use underscores and I will make everything in caps. So ET DSE and then my table name, which is um, let's find out ET expense data, I guess. Yes. Expense data and then table. So I can put inside the description as the table name this one points to and then the table name and the type of the constant is data store entity this is what i want i need to select the data store which in my case is et and there is only a single data store entity which we have created previously that's all i can save this inside the constant folder currently i'm using a single folder but if we want we can create a separate one also so now my data store constant is ready. Now I need to do the configuration in process model. So first of all, I need to assign that task or we can say uh, I need a form to see this particular expense form. This one which we have created previously. We need this form to be displayed. So how we can do that because uh, in Appian whenever we will be using this user input task that is only a task and we need to assign that task to someone. Right. For example, we need to show some form on maybe on a button click event or maybe we need to assign it to someone. Then we need to set the assignee for that user input task. And whenever I'll say user input task, it means task only. And inside this user input task, we will use interfaces right, to show the form whichever we have created. So now I need to drag and drop this user input task. It's a human task, right? You can see. In the workflow item also there is a single human task which is user input task and we will attach interface inside this and that interface will be visible to the person whoever will be the assignee right and uh, i need to click inside this and i need to go inside the form inside the form i need to select the form so my form is uh, et new expense form so again this pop-up is coming why this pop-up is coming because uh, if you remember whenever we'll be selecting process start form then also this form will come but this is slightly different from that because it will not directly map the rule input with the process variables first it will map the rule inputs with the node inputs and then the node inputs will be mapped to the process variable so that is the difference and that we need to understand right so you can see 
we are mapping the rule inputs with the node inputs and what are the node inputs node inputs are the inputs which we will be using inside only the nodes that we cannot take outside the nodes right so that we need to do and i need to click on yes and uh, that's all 